Hi, I'm Melanie from Classic Tent Rentals and Party Supplies and the Grand Estate at Hidden Acres. I actually grew up in Freeport and graduated from Freeport High School. So it, there's a saying, once born in Freeport, you stay in Freeport. I think there's quite a few of us that actually do that. My name is Aaron Waddell and I was actually born in Freeport and then left and went to school and then came back and now I work here with my mom, Melanie, at the Grand Estate. In 2015, purchased Hidden Acres from the Liparotti family. And that allowed us to take what we knew from the tent rental business and put it into a venue of our own. And so we're here and we're doing a bed and breakfast and a wedding venue. And we can have up to 300 people here at our estate for a wedding. And everyone from the bridal party gets to spend the night or their family and whatnot. The um, funny story about uh, Freeport and our family is that my dad actually graduated from Freeport too. He actually was um, hanging out with his buddies and they dared him to try out for cheerleading and their goal was to embarrass him because he was a little guy and he definitely had short man syndrome. So he decided I'm just gonna do this and so he tried out for cheerleading and he became one of the male cheerleaders. So there's actually two, I'm not even sure who the other one is, um, but he's one of two male cheerleaders that um, Freeport Yellow Jackets had. So that's sort of a funny story. What ended up backfiring on his buddies is that he got to hang out with all the pretty girls and they were stuck sitting on the stands watching the game. So that's all. <laughs> That's one of our Freeport stories. Classic Pap. Yeah. Classic Pap. We'll call him Classic Pap. He also owns a um, 1931 Model A, which we actually have here at the estate, and it allows our brides and whatnot to get um, pictures taken and videography with the car. What I love about Freeport is the hominess that is here and we can walk downtown and see people that we graduated with as well as then their children that are in school and there's always someone that you know in Freeport. It's, it's a, a busier town and we enjoy seeing each other when we go downtown. Uh, a building that I'd like to see renovated, I um, actually went to school at the old Freeport Junior High School, which if you go back further, that was the original high school. And so I went to school at the Freeport Junior High, and um, that has now changed into a business front, and I don't know how long it's been since it's been renovated, but um, I just have a lot of memories there and a lot of fun um, relationships that I've had there um, in, uh, in the junior high. And so I think that would be a really cool building to kind of see renovated. I would actually like to see Camerlo's Market uh, renovated. Now it's been, it's in the family for a long time, but um, Camerlo's used to be a grocery store. And I remember going in with my parents and that old wooden floor and taking your grocery cart up and down every aisle and uh, the, the meat counter was just so much fun because we could always get a slice of lunch meat and um, everyone was so friendly down there. So I'd like to see that renovated, but I'd really like to see maybe a restaurant um, in that space, just utilizing all that beautiful old hardwood I think would make a stunning restaurant. So that's my idea. Yeah, I, th I think what's cool about Freeport is that First of all, there's so many people that um, that stay here, but then in, in situations like me, 
Like I've had friends that I went to school with that left, went to college and came back or in, and are now working in this area again. So um, I think it's just a place that has um, like a strong um, family side to the, the town itself, like as Freeport where, you know, it's the Freeport family. And so because of that, I think there's that strong backbone that I think could really support um, some real growth um, in our in our city, for sure.